Once upon a time, in a big castle, there lived a kind princess named Snow White. Snow White was not only the prettiest girl, but she was very kind and helpful too. All the animals and birds loved her. One day, her mother the queen passed away, and her father the king married again. Her stepmother was a mean and evil woman. The new queen was jealous of Snow White. She wanted to be the most beautiful and fairest of all. She asked her magic mirror, 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 tell me who is the fairest of all. The mirror replied, Queen, I hear your call. Snow White is the fairest of all. The stepmother was furious and ordered her servants to take Snow White away to the woods and kill her once and for all. So the servants took Snow White for a ride in the woods. Oh, I love to ride on a horse in the woods. However, when they reached deep in the woods, the servants took pity on her, and instead of killing her, they told her about the evil plan hatched by her stepmother and left Snow White to her fate in the forest. Heartbroken, Snow White wandered for long and finally came across a small cottage. Hello? Anyone at home? The cottage belonged to the seven dwarfs living in the woods. They had been away in search of food and fodder. Finding the house in a mess, Snow White cleaned and tidied the house and cooked a delicious meal for all. The seven dwarves were soon back home. They were grateful to Snow White for all the help. They shared their story, and Snow White shared her story. It's all right. I have found a new home and new friends. The dwarves and Snow White became good friends, and they played and sang together. Snow White was all happy with the seven friendly dwarves. Meanwhile, overjoyed on getting rid of Snow White, her stepmother asked the mirror again. Mirror, tell me who is the fairest of all? The mirror replied, Queen, I hear your call. Snow White is still the fairest of all. The queen was furious. So, Snow White is alive? She threatened her servants and learnt the truth. Deciding to finally get rid of Snow White herself, she took a few poisoned apples and headed to the woods, disguised as an old woman. On finding Snow White alone, My little girl, here are some delicious apples just for you. Thank you, kind lady. <laughs> I love apples. As soon as Snow White took a bite, she fainted and dropped to the ground as dead as the wood. <laughs> Finally got rid of you, Snow White. My work is done. On finding Snow White dropped as dead, the dwarves were very sad and broken. They laid her to rest in a coffin and mourned around her. Just then, a handsome prince passing through the woods. Being curious, he dismounted from his horse to see the seven dwarfs crying around the beautiful Snow White. The prince could not contain himself, and his eyes were filled with tears. As his tears rolled down, they fell on Snow White's cheek. The tears of her true love woke up Snow White from her deep slumber. To everyone's delight, the handsome prince, Snow White and the seven dwarves lived happily together ever after. And the evil queen met her fate and was sent.